Hey guys, Jess from Your Reformer. Today I'm going to take you through your rental reformer. Let's start this day on the end of the reformer at what we call the foot bar. So you'll find the foot bar at the end. It's adjustable. To do that, you just want to pull towards yourself and then you can unlock it and slot it into the different slots. Usually you'll be shown by your instructor or told what level you might like to put the foot bar at or the comfort for your body. Whilst we're here, I'm going to show you the insertion of the jump board. So you're going to take that foot bar, pull it all the way down and out of the way. At the back side, you'll have your platform. On the Envy, it just lifts straight out. Really super simple at the end of the reformer. You can just pop your platform out to the side. The jump board here has two loops at the top. You're just grabbing onto those handles. And again, slotting the jump board straight in where that platform was. To make this jump board nice and secure, you're going to use the foot bar to lock it into place. Pulling that foot bar towards you, you're gonna lock that jump board into place by securing the foot bar into the slots. And there you have your jump board, nice and secure, ready for use. I'm gonna move it out the way so I can show you the rest of the features of the MV. Pull the, pull the foot bar towards you again, unlocking, lowering to the bottom, grabbing those handles, and just popping yourself up to the side. As you can see with the MV, we also have the timber platform. That's personal preference. You can either go for the upholstered, a little bit more softer, maybe if you're doing forearm work or planking work, might be a little bit more comfortable. It also makes it level with our bed. So that you're nice and flush. You've got that nice level platform to work with. Personal preference with that one. So we come to the inside of the Envy here. We can see our springs and the pegs. You have two layers of the pegs here, bottom and the top. The different layers is just based on resistance. We usually work with this first layer. That just creates that little bit more resistance onto the springs. As you place the springs up onto that second layer, you'll see that there's a little bit more tension on the spring. That'll create a little bit more resistance. So if you're in a workout and you want to add a little bit more tension, a little bit harder work without adjusting the color of your spring, just move the spring up to the second notch and that'll add a little bit more resistance. Most of our workouts, you'll be on that first level unless instructed otherwise. If you come to the inside of your carriage and move it out of the way, you'll notice what we have are stoppers. There's three places for your stoppers. These little stoppers just pull out like a little plug and then you can place them into the little holes. Just remember to always have your stoppers in the same holes to make it nice and even for your bed as the carriage returns. These stoppers are used for allowing that bed to travel closer to the platform or stopping the carriage from coming in toward the platform. We usually suggest that you might use the stoppers if you're taller and you wanna stop the carriage from coming closer to the platform to stop getting jammed up through your hips and to set up that optimal um, position for your hips and your legs. Most of the time the stoppers set on that middle position is what we recommend. As we move down the bed, we have our shoulder rests. On the MV bed, these shoulder rests just easily simply lift out and you have two positions for those. You can have that narrower girth through your shoulders. Maybe if you're a little bit more petite, a little bit narrower through the shoulders, that might feel comfortable for you. Or again, if you want a little bit more space, you just lift and push the shoulder rests into the wider spot. A little bit more space between the shoulders and the neck. Moving along, we have the headrest. It's got three positions here. So we have that flat position all the way down in line with your carriage. We have that second position, a little bit of a raise. And then the third, a little bit more of a raise. Personal preference again, support for your head and neck, whatever feels comfortable for you. In some of the videos, the instructors will tell you to put the headrest flat or raise the headrest. And that's all about spinal alignment for those exercises. To move along a little bit wider, you can see the pegs. These pegs are to hook on our loops. With our loops, we have a long loop and a short loop. Short loop is usually recommended for our arm work. Long loop usually for the footwork or feet and straps. But you can also use the long loop, maybe to take a little bit more tension, a little bit less tension, sorry, off your exercises. Maybe if you're finding the short loops a little bit hard for your ab work or your arm work, move to the long loop a little bit less resistance, a little bit easier on the arms. As we move along, we also have the pulley system. You have your poles at the back. 
straps looping all the way through the pulley system. When you come down to your pulley system to adjust your straps, you just want to pull up against that rope, unlock it from the pulley system. Unlock your loop and you can pull that to lengthen the rope. To tighten the rope, you come to the other side and just pull on the end of the rope. Once you have the optimal length, make sure the rope is clasped through the pulley system. To check that it's fastened, just pull back on the rope. It's nice and tight. Always remember to have your straps the same length for your workout. With this little bit of added extra rope that you might find you have, you can A, either tuck it underneath the bed out of the way, or you can tuck it along, fold it across the bed so that it doesn't get in the way of those wheels. Also with your, with your reformer, you have the box. With our box, convenient handles, easy to pick up, easy to maneuver. With that, we have two positions. We have the lengthways, so the long box, like so, or we have short box, which is horizontal across your bed. Typically with the short box, we might include what we call the foot strap. That's back down the end of your reformer. If you come down to the end, you'll see that strap. Soft cushiony part is what's gonna go around your foot, hooked onto these two loops at the end. You'll see this little buckle here on both sides. That's how you can shorten and lengthen the strap. So to lengthen the strap away, you're gonna unloosen the buckle either side and that will create more length on the foot strap. It might be if you're taller and you're trying to set up that um, ab work on the short box, looping your foot in there. You wanna make sure your leg's nice and straight. So adjust the strap according to your body. To tighten, just the opposite. Just gonna pull on that strap, nice and tight. And again, you can adjust on both sides. Make sure your leg's nice and straight, ready to go for that ab work. And that's our box. You do also receive some soft loop handles, extra handles that you can interchange with the loops. Personal preference, a little bit more grip with those. And that is your MV Reformer all set up, ready for your use. We look forward to seeing you online.